realized I really want to do something in the background. Hi everyone, good evening. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Say Studios. That's me. So I am working on this sample painting, actually. Well, it's a painting, but I have a paint night happening. So I like to make samples for <laughs> the people taking the class. So I started, well, I sketched this cutie today and laid down some marker. And now what I'm going to do is just lay down the color. And if you happen to be in the Bakersfield area, I am, I do sip and paints around town. And I'm also booking paint parties as well. So, um, you're just seeing a little fun behind the scenes on how it works. It was fun. I was sketching this today while babysitting my niece. So we're gonna, wow, there's a lot of you here tonight. Good evening. Happy to see you. If you're new here, my name is Say. I'm an artist and illustrator, and this is what I do for a living. I love it. It's fun. Happy to see you guys here. Working on a new piece tonight. If you don't follow me, feel free to. Thank you guys for the likes. Sublime Daisy, thank you so much for the follow tonight. I really appreciate that. So I'm gonna slowly start building up this colored greenery. This is actually larger than I normally paint. Um, but with my sip and paint classes, it's fun to do big paintings. And so that's why it's larger. And for, I feel like some artists, it's like, that's large. I'm like, yeah, I paint pretty small. Usually this is a piece right here. I'm working on a commission for someone. This is the marker before I paint it. And then, of course, I got a ton of other things over here, but we got paint out right now, so we're going to keep it going. Thank you, guys. Wow, we've already reached 400 likes. 400 likes this evening. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I forgot to let you guys know. Also, you can find me other places and, of course, here, so feel free to follow. Another little example of art. <laughs> That's my happy moon. Hello, Frank Starks. Thank you so much for the follow, too. Always forget about those little little signs, you know. We're going to paint some little happy, happy foliage here, right? <laughs> now, now yeah, we're pretty good here. Now, I have some... I didn't bother to erase this bit. This might be a flower, so I'm not going to get too worried about it, but I do want to do the background too. Thank you guys so much. Hummingbirds are always fun. Um, many reasons. Usually people have affinity to them because of a family member. Mine is in particular my grandma. She loved her hummingbirds. Hold on, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I'm taking some of this mint and I'm making light mint because I don't want to make it too dark. Ooh, but you know what? We're going to end up using that for the bird, so we're not going to do that. 
We're going to use this blue over here. <laughs> Remix some colors. It was funny. I had my first um, in person paint night in a very long time on Tuesday. And when I was telling people, okay, you're going to mix one part this and two parts that, they looked at me like, wait, you don't have the colors pre mixed? And I'm like, I'm giving you a lot of colors. <laughs> like, you guys can handle light blue. Uh, it was so funny. They made me laugh. I mean, I remember when I first started it too, so to be fair, I know where they're coming from exactly. I used to not paint in color, actually. I was terrified of it. And now, I can't get enough of it. Hello, Amy. How are you doing this evening? Thank you so much for the follow. I am very well getting ready. Oh, Keely! Thank you for the gift tonight. First gift of the evening. Or morning, depending on where you're at. I am doing very well. I am making a sample painting for my paint night that's happening tomorrow evening. <laughs> We're doing a happy hummingbird. Just making sure. I, do I have enough of this blue mixed? Thank you so much. I feel like we're just going to have to hooray I have enough of this color premixed. The thing is, is when you don't have enough color premixed and you're just like color matching and the f interesting thing with this blue, well with acrylic in general, is um, it can dry lighter or darker. So I often use colors right out of the tube, but I didn't have the color I was looking for. Um, you do paint night on TikTok, and are you do like sip and paint? Oh, do I do sip? Yes, I do sip and paint as well. Yes, I do in person workshops, and I also um, I need to schedule the next virtual one too, where obviously you provide your own drink, <laughs> but I teach you how to draw and paint a character or a creature virtually. So you provide all the supplies, I provide the instruction, that sort of thing. I've done it before, I like it a lot. But yeah, I have been scheduling a lot of in-person events and already booked out for some private events as well. It's a lot of fun. And I have the bird upside down right now because I'm trying to get that background in, so always fun to see a different perspective going on in here. Gotta make sure I don't, I don't get too complicated though. There we go. It's a good, it's a good base. And as you can see, it's starting to dry a little lumpy, but that's okay, because we got just one coat. Um, do you teach on TikTok or only in person? When I come here live, Keely, 
um, and pop on here live, I'm just showing you guys how it works and everything. Um, but yeah, I do teach virtual lessons as well on my website. I am using, haha, <laughs> I know it's gonna be fun, huh? All right, so this is marker. I always sketch it and then I use marker and just to kind of color block things. And then I'm using acrylic on top, so it'll get covered with acrylic. But I also do in-person events as well, Keely. So a little both. And fingers crossed, hands in prayer and all that good stuff. Um, I just applied to be a TikTok shop. So I am in the process of waiting for official approval, but they're just verifying a few things. So that li the live sale life could be happening on here pretty quickly. Hopefully, hopefully. I do live sales also on, oops, Pop Shop Live. And you can find me there if you'd like. Okay, let's get some light gray tones here. A light purpley gray. Is that a business account? Is mine? I don't know. Oh, look at Paws. Oh, Bubbub. Thank you so much for the gifts. Oh my gosh. How cute is that? Thank you. Thank you. You're so kind. I don't know. I'd have to look to see if my account was business or not. I don't think they said, I don't know. You'd have to look into it. Bean toes for life. <laughs> oh, uh, for TikTok show, do they make you register your business? Uh, I'm already registered. So Lindsay, that's a good question. I know that the info is already there, um, online. You can, um, I think it's TikTok shop. If you Google it, you can find it. Bub bub. Thank you so much for the follow as well. You're so sweet. All right. Oh yeah. I already, yeah, I already have that info. I'm soul, so. I mean, like, like with anything. What's the difference with the live or the shop? Oh, yeah, so I can go live and drop in products and things that you guys could shop while I'm live. Um, I can also, like, show you guys how things work. Um show you like all my stickers as opposed to sending you to my shop and on my website. Like you don't have to leave the app, that sort of thing. That does not mean anytime I'm going, I'm going live, I'm going to always have stuff for sale. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's neat. Um, I've been doing it over on pop shop for two years, three years. And then like for years before that, when, you know, all the other, like Instagram attempts and <laughs> all of that. But I'm excited. I like to pop on different places because I figured, you know what? It's just like popping up at a market, at different markets, you know? Doesn't matter where, you know? Whatever ends up working. I'm also on whatnot. That one I'm trying to figure out. But they're all the same. It's all the same. This different audiences, you know, or different parts of the world where you could find your audience. There we go. Rugs, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, we're going to add some cute little feather floof here. Feather floof. I am not touching that background until everything is dry. I laid it on pretty thick. But I don't want to get too much detail in this sky because if I go over it, it takes time. 
but it'll come out really cool. Has anyone here ever taken a sip and paint class or a paint night class? You know, it's so fun, Keely, that you asked that question. Have you ever drawn a tattoo? Yes, I have drawn a tattoo. I have never seen anyone actually send me a photo of said tattoo that they always promised to do. You know, but um, I have drawn a, um, maybe 10 but I've never seen proof. I always, always am curious. Like one day, maybe I'll run into somebody and they have my art on them. And another interesting fact is I'm a gallery coordinator over at Top Hat Art Collective, which started out as a tattoo shop. And so they have a tattoo shop and now a gallery. And so I'm helping them get their gallery organized and stay afloat because they have a lot of different things going on so it's interesting i now work for a tattoo shop but for their gallery um but nobody there has ever you know said hey can i get art my art there no it's it's been other places it's just interesting to me how even though i never became a tattoo artist myself i'm still somehow connected with it and i love it <laughs> I did, I did a almost apprentice at one point in my life, but it was a good thing. It did not happen. I interviewed and, um, no, like people don't scare me off pretty easily. I'm like, you know, God's protecting me in every aspect. And this guy was like, had something to prove. And I'm like, yeah, it's fine. I just, I really want to do it. I think I'd be great at it. Mind you, I'm a little squeamish sometimes, so probably not later on, but found out I was pregnant. This was a long time ago. Um, and so I got really sick and I was like, I can't do it, but things happen for a reason. <laughs> hey, Ava Luna, how are you? I'm doing really well. We're working on a new paint night design. Thank you. Sketched it out today. And so I have it all finished. I have a class tomorrow. Building up my various designs for events, which is crazy. It's kind of going pretty, pretty big in my area. So woohoo. I'm not the only one. I just got some different designs. So woohoo. That's always cool. Yeah, and I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping actually to also submit this one <laughs> to um, an art exhibition because it's a 10 by 10. Oh wait, this is an 8 by 8, darn it. I'm thinking, is there a way to extend this out <laughs> to a 10 by 10? Maybe not. All right, so I'm going to have to think of something else, but I like it. Oh, Keely, yeah, no, I'm not in Sacramento, but we are on the same side of the world. I'm in Bakersfield, California. But if you ever did come to visit, you should check out what events I have going on. Okay, let's add some yellow here, just a little bit more for highlight, and then we'll build up from there. I was looking at all these beautiful humming, I was going to say butterfly, hummingbird designs today. Not designs, but like um, birds, hummingbirds, photos and stuff. And oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I wanted to pick this classic one because this one reminded me of my grandma. But um, it is insane how gorgeous these little creatures are. All right, I'm looking at the background. I see some wet spots, so I, again, don't want to touch the background again yet. Oh, she has two nests. 
Yes, that's so cool. I know we have w at least one in the front. And um, it, because it came up to me, it's like, um, excuse me, where's my 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 hummingbird beater? <laughs> and I'm like, it's so cold. How are you? I mean, I get it. We got to eat, <laughs> including the hummingbirds. But I'm like, dude, you're early. All right. I know he's supposed to be green, but I like a minty bird. Oh, thank you, Fee. Is it Fia? Fiabus? Thank you so much. I, uh, I'm an illustrator, so I t thank you. It's ringing true. I have uh, one of my children's books up on my website right now. And then my first one isn't back in print yet. I'm thinking about releasing it again because it was a cute story. Oh, 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 we got a little fuzzy there. Okay. My web address right here, saystudios.net. And you can follow me here, and you can also click the link in my bio. And everything's all linked up, make it super easy for you guys. But yeah, it's .net. And then if you click on the link in the bio, it'll take you to like a landing page. And that will, you just click on the buttons you want to go to. <laughs> I make it as easy as possible. Yeah, no, thank you. I really appreciate it. Aw, Ava, thank you for the share. Thank you, MG. I'm having fun with her. I'm going to be teaching this design to a paint class tomorrow. A sip and paint. It's going to be at Top Hat Art Collective in Bakersfield, California. So if you happen to be in my area or nearby, you can join and purchase some tickets from my website. Might be a shot in the dark with how close you are, but still throwing it out there. One of my one of the people that is gonna are gonna attend tomorrow. She messaged me because she, she saw the sketch I had, and she's like, "Mine is not gonna look like that." I'm like, "Girl, it's gonna look awesome. <laughs> it's gonna look awesome. Don't you worry." Thank you for the likes, everybody. Now is that background all dry? Yay! So I'm not going to like worry about the bird or the foliage right now. We're going to finish that background on up. And I have another a paintbrush that I want to use. I feel like he like he ditched me. This might work. Unless I dropped it. I need a I need to get some more. <laughs> Maribel, thank you so much for the follow. Okay. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing again. You see that blue? Gotta mix it up.
background. going to turn her upside down, continue to fill this in. And we only have to do it, this is the second coat, I think we're pretty good. Like we won't have to do another coat, I hope, I don't think we will. For the background. I do like coming on live at night when I can. I've been honestly, honestly, I've been getting to bed pretty early, but when I can, I like coming on here and working in the peaceful quiet. watching people make art to get to sleep sometimes so I hope it calms you guys down too and if you go check out my website all my art is very calming <laughs> and oops shoot I just got some tea on here I was like almost done But it's very calming and positive. And if you like that sort of thing, you are in the right place. Kind of do a little dry brush, just in case. <laughs> that was like almost not right and then it'll be blended in just the way I want it to all right that's a great background and now I can focus on the bird and the greener but I think we should focus on who's next <laughs> hmm let's do the greenery Oh, thank you for the hearts. Oops, I want a little bit more. A little more green. Hey, Joe Boxer, thank you so much. Thank you for the gifts, you guys. So kind. To find a dry spot. <laughs> Is 
So my sip and paint class on Tuesday, we learned how to, or I taught everybody how to um, paint a happy potted plant. And it came out so cute. I did um, a monstera plant. And it was a lot of fun. <laughs> In fact, I'm trying to remember, like, where did I end up putting that? Because I pulled it out of the box, I thought. Let me see. Or maybe I didn't. Oh, I didn't. All right, you want to see it? So this is what I did on Monday. This was my sample. Wait, nope, that was the one. Nope, that's my sample. Here's my sample that we painted. And then this is what I came up there, but I want to add glasses. I didn't have enough time. <laughs> so I, I want to finish this one. So I end up like with two paintings when I do it. But I'm going to give them like different characteristics every time. So I have two new little characters. And they all did so well. I was so impressed. Okay. We are... Let me get a little bit more... brushing over here just kind of oh my gosh what a beautiful name Keely is it Keely or Kelly I might have been watching way too much Ted Lasso <laughs> that is a beautiful name so Colibri Kelly. Oh, well, I gave you a fancy name. I'm sorry. No, Kelly. <laughs> Thank you for correcting me. Oh my gosh. Your niece's names. That is such a cool meaning. I love it. I love it. She's named after her great grandma. That's so cool. My grandma loved hummingbirds. And that's why I was like, I really want to do a hummingbird for this one. You know, like you have to pick a theme and figure everything out and do all the planning. So I was torn between a butterfly and a hummingbird. My grandpa sends me butterflies. My grandma sends me hummingbirds. Well, and grandpa also messes with the lights too, but um, he hasn't done that too much. <laughs> in a long time but um animal wise and yeah so anyway we're gonna do hummingbird uh, hummingbirds for my grandma but I've noticed a lot of people connect with these these guys and they're just so inquisitive like they know I mean signs happen wherever you go not after her, for her. I heard something. Oh, oh! You called your grandma sissy or your sister? Cause my other grandma, my grandma D, um, her nickname was Sissy. Talk about weirdness. <laughs> oh, sister. Okay, and I—that's my kids. I always go, hey. I I call them sissies. I think that's why, actually, now that I think about it, her nickname was Sissy, because she was the youngest sister. I don't think I've ever connected that. Just 
never dawns on you until you're outside of the moment, huh? Yeah. It's like, oops. always tease huh my grandpa used to call me Rosie and back then I mean I was little and I get so like my name's not Rosie <laughs> and he just thought it was funny I was like you're teasing me I don't like that but I had uncles that tease the crap on me too so um yeah but now looking back I'm like I love that name yeah, Rosie. My name's not Rosie. I go by Say, but my first name's Ashley Marie. Um, yeah. He called me Rosie. Rosie what? I think he called me Rosie Marie or something like that. Hello, Trey's room. Oh my gosh, how funny. There's so many connections, Kelly. I love it. <laughs> you have anything with scooter <laughs> which is a weird one that was my grandma grandpa's nickname for my my grandma and he was skipper i don't i know and i know he liked boats not they had like a little thank you one <laughs> okay so i think what i want to do we're just gonna kind of like floof in some highlights. Not a lot, just a little floof, 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 floof. A little bit in here too. Not a lot. I don't have to highlight everything. Sometimes I do. Okay, that's good. No! <laughs> Kelly, are you kidding? That's crazy! Okay, let's, what else can we do? That's funny. That is funny. <laughs> well, I, I, there's one I want to say. Like, my grandpa and my dad, they had the same birthday. And they used to call each other bad names. Bad, like, a nickname. Like, they were best friends. Um like one of them would put on their phone instead of like call you know so and so or call Kevin or whatever um Kevin and George but um they go call as the a word hole <laughs> oh you have a scoot scoot we don't have a scoot scoot that's cute though whenever I hear scooter like to be honest with you I think of did you ever watch king of queens the old man and oh that makes sense the old man and the the husband scooter and beans that was funny that's what i think of when i hear it yes oh my gosh i watched it so much such a fun show all right i'm getting distracted but that's okay okay i can either line here let's let's match this like how I kind of want to make it like it's glowing, so even though I'm going to use this purple to, oop, that's a little bit here. Even though I'm going to do this, I'm going to add some floofage, some cute, you know, feathers. 
what I want to do is outline the outside with white. And if it doesn't work out, I can always make it darker with the other color. Oh, but I like it to white. See, my, let's see, my husband, I nickname Ewok. Do you have an Ewok? <laughs> One's pretty obscure. Well, not obscure, just different. <laughs> We're just talking about nicknames. And <laughs> me too. They're so cute. I used to collect them all the time. I have a little collection now. I just like bears. I've realized that over the years. I just like bears. My mom was like, you just realized that? You used to have like over 20 bear stuffed animals and we had to get rid of so many because you didn't have room in your room. It's like, I know. I was very sad when you made me downsize. But I do love me some bears. The bears. I feel like this one didn't go out far enough. Like... Thank you for the flowers. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. We're going to line it with the white. Oops, there's a lot of water on that. That's not going to get us anywhere with the white. It's all watered down. She looks like spring. We're ready for spring for sure. It's been a very rainy, but after the rain comes rainbows. Actually, during the rain can come rainbows. And then lots of greenery. My goal is to plant my garden this weekend. Since the ground's going to be nice and soft. Okay, I guess we're going to flip you over this way, hun. Oh, your mom was born on your dad's birthday. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. See, my dad was born on my grandpa's birthday, but they were not related. So the, what is that called? Father-in-law and the son-in-law had the same birthday. It was weird. <laughs> oh, here's a fun one. My dad's name is the same as my husband's name they both named Kevin <laughs> and then my brother ended up 
one of my brothers ended up marrying a gal with my name. <laughs> Whoa, July. Theirs was... Hold on. It was in Ju- end of July. I want to say, like, the, I was I sucked at dates. I still stink at dates. Um, I want to say it's the 29th. But it's also July. And then, actually, the same brother who named, married the gal who had my first name actually has my daughter's middle name as her middle name. I remember when he told me, too, because I was like, oh, yeah, so what's her name? He's like, Ashley. I'm like, you're just joking with me. I know, right? And he's like, no. And I'm like, come on. Like, you, he made fun of me so hard. And I'm like, dude, you can't help yourself who you fall for, you know? So it was, it was like one of those, like, the God moments where God's like, uh, yeah, you shouldn't have made fun of her. <laughs> I'm going to pull one up on you too. And then, um, when she had the same, the same name. And middle name is my daughter. I laugh so hard. I'm like, dude. <laughs> Even more so. I really like how the wings are glowing. This is fun. Plus they move so fast so it looks like the light hits them in a way that just sparkles. I feel like so. Even more fun. Oh, here's a weird one. So I was mentioning before to you, Kelly, my grandpa's name was, uh, nickname was Skipper. And my husband was a jungle skipper. Then I tease my bro saying, you picked your sister. (laughs) All right, I am going to... We're just going to highlight all of it white. What is that? Oh, he used to work on the Jungle Cruise. (laughs) That one's a stretch. That was a long time ago. Okay. line here not that I need to not that I want to yeah oh I'm sorry a ride at Disneyland Ended up working up for WDI for a while, and then now he's freelancing. And all that fun stuff. He's a writer. Hey, domestic lullabies. How are you? Always good to see Someone familiar. Okay. 
Yeah, small world, huh? Shadow there. <gasps> you so cute. Oh, you're so sweet. It's very, it's a very small group right now, so it'd be super fun. You're drinking iced coffee at 1 a.m. What are you trying to do? Get like go through the whole evening? <laughs> I am well. I am almost done with this um, sip and paint sample for tomorrow night's sip and paint class over at Top Hat Art Collective. It'll be fun. I had my first one. Pardon me. I had a, my first one of the week um, over at Vita Eatery in town and we did a happy plant so now we're doing a happy hummingbird oh dear this brush is so loaded with Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't do that. I coffee just makes me like I'd be up for like half the week. Though to be fair, I did have my regular iced tea. Did I have that today or was that the other day? I don't remember. No, that was the other day. But I got a lot done. <laughs> Bird. Oh, you meant hot tea with brandy. Oh, that sounds relaxing. <laughs> you know, we could just do gray. I might do that tomorrow so it's not so dark. My thought is if we have time, we can throw in flowers. I'm tired. I forgot it was happening. <laughs> Fair enough. They are very, that's a very interesting flavor, the Ulmer, Ulm. And now I can't say that, but the mix of iced tea and lemonade. <laughs> it's like a tongue twister for me. I can't say it. I'm going to kind of tone it down a little bit here. Hold on. Just a little bit. I like, let's talk about favorite drinks. I like, ooh, that's fun. I like that. Devon, thank you so much. Oh, that's weird. Wait, are you on Say Studios? It's S E Y studios.net. I use DuckDuckGo. I don't have that problem. Um, there's nothing weird. It's on Shopify. I did notice, though, that some things that was blocking, I'm like, this is a very safe site. I don't know why it's trying to block it. Yeah, S-E-Y, studios.net. Yeah, that's my, my site. I guarantee you it's all like this. Like, 
<laughs> there's nothing weird about it and it's Shopify so legit Um, I do use, oh, what's that other one? The one that comes with the Apple. Um, sometimes I'll use Safari if things get weird. Okay. I know. His eyeball's gone. It will come back. His little highlight. Ooh, I'm so glad I didn't tap that brush too much. It was so wet with paint and it would have flicked it. <laughs> uh -oh, that would have been fun. Okay. So uh, I think I'm going to add a highlight on his beak while the eye is drying. Because, yeah, cute, but we need some highlight. We need that white. I could just do white. It's got that fun texture effect there. Now to be fair, I do not have everything up on my website. I do my best. Um, but live sales are your friend usually. But if you ever see something and you're like, hey, do you have this? Or you're looking for something, just ask. I switched over everything last year. So I am in a major shift in from everything. I was just talking to an, another art friend of mine, Annie, and um, she. we both have been switching over. Like I, I switched over from Etsy over to Shopify mid last year. And so everything's been slowly moving that way and all that. I mean, everything's off Etsy, but it's all, I got a lot more stuff, <laughs> but you know what? That's the artist life. We always got a lot of stuff because we're never stopping and we're constantly going. All right. Shall it have an eyebrow Or eyelashes. I kind of want to give it eyelashes, which is weird for a hummingbird, but it's me. So, what the heck? What the hey? We're going to do eyelashes. And then I'm going to do her little eye highlight. Always a fun addition to the world. But why not have one? Let's have two highlights. Oh, yes. Yes. And like trying not to learn all the new skills all the time. <laughs> I saw somebody posted a video of that. Like, shall I go buy, like buy all the new stuff for a new hobby? To that I haven't finished the other ones or something. I'm like, oh, like, I think I have officially, oh, yep, we're doing that one too. I like that. Um, officially gone through all my stuff from college 10, oh, 13 years ago that I had leftover materials from just, I think two years ago. So like 11 years, it took me 11 years to go through all the extra things that I've been collecting. Um, what? Don't tell me about free supplies. That sounds amazing. Because I like watercolor paper and like random boards to paint on. Wood and stuff like that too. These came out so sweet. Okay, let's add some darker. Just some, oh, what do they call it? Some contrast here. I have a really pretty teal that would really kick it up a notch in some areas here. I know, I gotta keep it simple, but. Just add a little bit. 
I used to have a teacher back in those college days, and he told me, he's like, okay, now you need to use contrast. And I'm like, <clears throat> and I was like, always afraid to use it. And he's like, no, just a little bit. That's all you need. It's like, sometimes it doesn't need it everywhere. And I, my mind was like, blown. But it's true. Sometimes you just need a little bit. And then it's good. <laughs> You're in collection. What does that mean? Are you collecting supplies? Help me figure that out. Okay, so... The other thing I wanted to do, I think, mm, it has to have flowers. But I think we're just going to add a few little bits, like, um, okay, I might, yes, she's going to have flowers. She's going to have flowers. Thank you, McKenna. Here, let me look up some flowers really quick because I want to put some flowers on this guy, but um, I need a visual. Need a visual to help me out. Okay, let's see what we got. found me. Alright. Um, I'm going to overthink it. I always overthink it. <laughs> That's part of the fun. Okay. Let's see. I'm thinking of flowers that are like in a bush. Maybe a buttercup. Yeah, buttercups are like a little bit more, they're pretty, but I'm not, I'm thinking more like I want to have pink, so I could make it up. I don't want to, but maybe like a buttercup, like where it's, like forget the line, but like kind of, okay. Okay, yes, just like, same though overthinking this. <laughs> could he? He could carry flowers from its little lake if you decide to add lakes. Oh, that's true, Sigrid. That's true. I don't want to make that too complicated, though, but I like it. I did think about something like that. I think I'm just going to keep the shape, but I like that idea. Maybe in the next... I'm already planning the next one in my brain. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, wait. We're going to do pink. Like his face, but we'll do the light pink. Let's check out the mixing. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now. Oops. Okay. I did it. There we go. I wasn't pushing down hard enough. I'm like, what's going on? It looks so weird. <laughs> hey, Adriana. I am well. Okay. 
keep turning though. We're gonna keep adding the laurels. Okay, hold on. Are you overthink? Hey, I got it. I got a slight version of that. It does not show that you are live. That's weird. Is it the internet connection? Who knows? Can anyone see that I'm live? Comment if you can see me. Thank you for the follow, McKenna. I'm assuming that it, you can see me, so. Okay, I'm gonna let them maybe restart it. Could be a glitch. I don't worry about it too much anymore. <laughs> okay. Maybe they're talking about like if it's not like has that little symbol or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna add a few little dots because again, don't overthink it, just have fun with it. That's what I tell my peeps at the sip and paint nights. Just have fun. Oh cool, thank you McKenna. So it could be other people's internets. It happens. All right. So now we're going to go over with a little highlight before we continue. Almost done. Dot of pink purple in the center. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking for sure. I want to tie in this part. Well, maybe not purple, but like that magenta. And make sure there's no water on it. Maybe a dot, but I kind of like a couple dots depending on what, what flower location it is. Kind of like the yacht. <laughs> Aww, I'm so glad. I felt that way today. A friend of mine reached out and said some very kind words. And I've been thinking this about other people, like how they inspire me and that sort of thing. And then she reached out to me and told me the same thing that I was telling other people. I was like, what? That's amazing. <laughs> like, was not even going for that. But I might, you know, it's like it dips. Like you, you get in your head sometimes and like negativity goes, hey, I'm just here to make sure that you're not happy. And like, it's silly because we're all worth it, you know? We really are. This world needs us. And, and every single one of us have a gift. And there's a reason. So... Thank you for being here. Thank you for being my reason for being up. 
Oh, well, I hope you can eventually. All right, we're going to add some highlights of, oh, oh, that white is not there. Just a few little white, white, white uh, flower dots. Words cannot come out of my mouth. Sign it. And it's done. Oh, thank you. And so tomorrow or today, I get to teach my class how to do a hummingbird. Thank you guys. Now I want to make these resin drawer handles. Oh, fun. I I just bought some resin um, a couple weeks ago, but it's been so moist here. Like I can't use it. So, but I do want to, I do want to use it. I made, I painted some bumblebees in these honeycombs and yeah. So eventually a little ducky would be cute. You know, that might have to be another one for sure. But yeah, so there's the happy little hummingbird. Go with my my happy plant where I taught the other day. And here's the other plant. Oh, this one needs glasses. So you know what? Let's add the glasses right now. He's going to be a nerdy plant. And actually, I can add... you still have the hot pink on this side? Yeah, we do. Hot pink. Got to add a little bit more texture to the tongue. All right, now I can do circle glasses or we can do cat eye. I feel like circles because they're just it's like a, a baby nerd. Oh, it's a baby nerd or a grandma nerd. Like she's the wacky crazy, oh my gosh, she's the wacky crazy plant lady, ant plant lady, like she's the auntie. She's me. <laughs> <laughs> all right are we gonna do it in black or shall we do it in a different color if i did black we're gonna have to julie thank you for the likes i'm gonna have to move it over a little because we're gonna get that crazy line she already looks like a crazy aunt like with the crazy hair when she pulls it up. Again, me. <laughs> How did I not see this before? I can make this go up. Oh, baby. Her eyeglasses aren't going to show through on this side because they're under the leaf. <laughs> I'm having, yay, I'm having so much fun because I want them to look different. I'm like, if I have to paint them twice, I got to spice it up. All right, hold on. could do it in pink pink or black what do you think comment below I would match it like with the tongue color just realized we need a little I know 
pants. You think pink? Because I have these crazy pink glasses that I wear too. And I'm like, oh, I love it. Dang it, we're going to do pink. Okay. Let me mix some more pink up. We got dueling pink answers. Yay. Okay. Oh, Kelly, it's okay. I often hear I'm the a female Bob Ross and I put people to sleep. It was funny when I first heard it. I'm like, am I offended or very <laughs> honored? No, I know. I'm a mom. It's good. It's a good voice to have. <laughs> Especially to get the babies to sleep. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. I love Bob too. I just found out. Oh, I can't remember which streaming service. It might be Hulu. But anyway, one of them only had like six episodes. And so I only watched those. And then, um, like I recently refounded, refounded, I found whatever one we have has a good chunk of them on. So I watch him from time to time. He's funny. He's funny and very insightful. And also good at art, so. <laughs> I don't know what that last one is, Kelly. Um, aww, McKenna. You're going to make me cry. That is seriously the sweetest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It was a little bit of a rough day being a mama. <laughs> You're so sweet. I just hope everyone can find some peace. Everything will be alright. Just like I tell my kids. It may suck now. It may be really hard. It may be wonderful. But it will always be alright. Especially when you have... You know that God's by your side. Because I wouldn't be here without him. Like, no joke. I've had three near-death experiences. I know how real it is. <laughs> How old are your short folks? <laughs> oh, that's a hard one too. Okay, so we got going on 10 and 11. They're very close in age. They are wonderful. And it's crazy how fast they grow. And I'm watching them. And does anyone have short folks? <laughs> um, I'm just watching him grow and just listening and I'm remembering when I was their age and I'm like oh my gosh it's so crazy and I heard that from my mom too and my mom would say like I feel still feel like I'm 18 hey that's all good one step at a time We ended up, we did the whole doing the graduation thing first before we got married and had the kiddos. I couldn't imagine trying to do that. <gasps> Yours are 32 and 30. No, don't say that. <laughs> I'm sure you cherish all the memories. That's the thing. Once it comes, it goes real fast. 
And when they're babies, when you're sleep deprived, you're like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for it to kind of like speed up so I can get some sleep again. But then as soon as you do, it's like, bam. And they're freaking 10. And you're like, what the heck happened? It's like sleep deprivation. <laughs> you survived. And then you're like, when you have kids, and then you realize how much time you actually had, just enjoy the freedom while you have it. But it, you're not like, like kids don't like keep you from that either. It just, you realize, wow, just how precious life is and every moment is. I've always tried and I started in high school never to live with any regret. Like, I would hold back, you know, I was scared of a lot. So I would push myself and I told myself as long as I didn't have any regrets. Um... (laughs) I called mine baby monsters or belly monsters for the for a while because I was so sick. But no. Yeah. Learn how to take care of yourself. Get all that together first. Yeah, they get to mess up their own homes now. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh. I, I don't want to say I can't wait. But man. Littles and picking up. Or medium littles. <laughs> <laughs> especially like them now it's like dudes you know how to clean like the first one she used to want to open up her own we're entrepreneurs um own um oh what's it called party planning business and organization business and all that it's so funny oh you're in high school i'm sorry i assumed you were in college <laughs> Take it easy, McKenna. You got time. That's funny. <laughs> I was so sick all day and night for 10 months. Oh, yes. It's the, okay, this is a little mom moment here, but it's the moment, the moment I got preg- pregnant, I could not have or smell any garlic. And I was constantly stuffy until it came out of me or they came out. It was weird. My body was bonkers, but, um, that was the only bad thing besides that everything was great and it wasn't horrible and it was probably because my body was so like um it was so toxic so if you eat right (laughs) before all that happens you won't have any problems my sister-in-law she just had hers and she's the same age as me and my niece is the best but (laughs) uh Oh, you'll get there, McKenna. I used to not be able to cook. Um, Anyway, but she ate right and did all the things later, even though it was like... Anyway, I was like, man, I wish I was like that. I wish I did it all. But I already did it, so I'm okay. Like, I know what I would change, but I felt like I had aliens in me. Yeah, you do. You do. But it's really cool. Anyway, there's the gr- little awesome auntie planty. <laughs> and we're talking about all this. Oh, that's such a fun game too, though, Kelly. Yes, I was so sick too. I got so sick. I told the doctors and they didn't believe me. And it was too soon, they said. And I had to wait a month to to officially know. Oh, then McKenna, you're probably going to pick up on food pretty easily. Hey, all these apps, like with people cooking. Hey, look at the colors. I really like that. Um, That's what's been helping me. My husband cooks a lot. so. Well, you guys are awesome. This has been a lovely little evening. Thank you for helping me find my happy place again. And I hope it brought you guys some joy as well. (laughs) oh my god what me too a month this is weird I'm not kidding wait what is weird what did I miss Sigrid thank you so much thank you so much aww well I'm so glad Kelly oh 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 all of our similarities it's weird 
I have a snack basket. <laughs> that was me in high school. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to call it a night. Thank you so much for joining me and feel free to follow me if you don't already. Don't forget to check out my shop, say studios, not dot net, not net, whatever. You know what it is. Um, I am going live over here on Friday for a live sale at 4 p.m. Pacific time. So you can check all that info out if you want. Otherwise, good night.